take a look at Dylan Peters. Again, the great three wins right there, no losses. And again, just pitching wonderfully just to start off this uh, first part of the season. So two outs for Christian Yelich, the left-handed batter. They'll station three infielders on the right side. Cracks this one toward left field. And Marisnik. And a quick one, two, three inning for Dylan Peters. Digging into the numbers with Ashby. This is only his second start, but he's been really good. Only 11 innings. And he goes change up to strike out Castillo. One up and one down. First strikeout for Aaron Ashby. And now Daniel Vogelback will be the batter. Jim Nielsen uh, and Vogelback involved in a little conversation. Like, and it looks to be uh, friendly. I mean, it doesn't look. <laughs> That's kind of bizarre. That's unique, huh? Not happy at all. There's strike three over the inside corner, and the inning is over. Ashby strikes out the side. Off and running here in Pittsburgh. No score. There's Jerry Meals, and uh, moments ago, Derek Shelton went out to talk to Meals. Now, again, it seemed like a friendly conversation with Vogelback, but I, I, I don't think it was. In fact, uh, he's hot now, and, and Shelton back trying to calm him down. And bounce to the right side. And there's Chavis and Dylan Peters. Six up, six down. And that's hit hard toward right center. There's Sawinski. Not two outs. Some hard hit balls, but uh, they have been finding defenders in the outfield at one and two. Line drive. Oh, short hop backhand play by Hayes, and that'll do it. Dylan Peters and Bryce Wilson have combined to blank the Brewers through their three. Willie Adamas will lead it off against Bryce Wilson. One, two, right there, strike three call. And that is the first out, first time a Brewers batter has struck out tonight. Here's the 1 0. Renfro swings and grounds it right to short. Castillo has it, and he'll fling it on to first for the final out. And Wilson's come up, six up, six down. Pirates have pitched magnificently through the first four innings. No hits allowed. Now we'll see if there's any conversation with Daniel Vogelback, who has attached his Velcro. That you know, one theory was that Jerry Meal said something about how he didn't have his Velcro attached on the batting gloves. And we thought we heard Vogelback say, I've been doing it all year. There's a ground ball to the left side. Adamas. Throws out Daniel Vogel back. And two outs quickly for Ashby in the scoreless game, bottom of the fourth. Here comes Michael Chavis. Kicks into the wind and throws. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a curveball. Bounced in the dirt. Narvaez picked it out. And it's a quick and tidy one, two, three inning. Aaron Ashby's been brilliant. Five strikeouts. There have been three base runners so far in this game. Omar Narvaez walked against Dylan Peters in the third, and two Pirates walked against Ashby. Ground ball back to Ashby. To second, one, to first. Safe at first. Wong just didn't get a lot on that throw, and Perez able to beat it out. Sawinski fly to deep left. That strike three called. Caught some corner there for strikeout number six, a new career high for Aaron Ashby. And a ground ball hit towards third. It's a fair ball. Brasso has it, throws to first in time. And it's another zero for Aaron Ashby. And this hitless game continues. It's the longest hitless game in the major leagues. And down on strikes. Second K for Bryce Wilson. How long will he be allowed to go? Well, he's been very efficient, 41 pitches. Here's Colton Wong. Here's the 2-1. Line drive down the right field line. This is a fair ball. Should be extra bases for Wong. He rounds first and motors into second with a one out double and that is the first hit of this game for either team. Looks in the 2 2 swing and a miss. He struck him out and McCutcheon's helmet popped off Going after that high fastball. Yep. Pretty good pitch for Wilson tonight the fastball period. So two outs three strikeouts for Wilson. Here's Willie Adamas. Ho oh, ho ho ho. A fired up Bryce Wilson strikes out Adamas. He strikes out three. He and Dylan Peters have been tremendous. Here is Reynolds. So the Pirates have gone on base four walks tonight from Ashby. And a bouncing ball off the glove of the diving Brasso into left field. And this is a big hit for Reynolds. 
It slowed it down, allowing Castillo to go to third. First hit belongs to Reynolds. Pirates in business in the sixth. Here's Keep Ryan Hayes coming up. Ground ball headed up the middle. Diving play by Wong on the first. My goodness, what a play by Colton Wong. The Pirates take the lead. Colton Wong, phenomenal play by the two-time Gold Glover. No RBI, the Pirates will take the lead. What a sensational double play. Turn between Wong and Adamas. Well, it's a single for Renfro, and that puts runners on the corners for the Brewers with nobody out. So the batter will be Rowdy Telez. Ground ball right side under the glove of Sutsugo. That'll tie the game. Going from first to third is Renfro. Same situation, two new runners, and we're all square here in the seventh. Tyrone Taylor. Taylor line drive, base hit left field. Brewers have the lead. Tyrone Taylor delivers. In from third is Hunter Renfro. And Milwaukee leads this game 2-1 to one in the seventh. So a hit batter and now back-to-back -back two out walks. And a big opportunity for some insurance from Colton Wong. Here's the 3-1 pitch. And Wong took high. He draws the walk with the bases loaded. And the Brewers lead it 3-1. to one. Two walks in the inning for Hayter. And it will be Sutsugo. Struck him out 96 right down Broadway. And the Pirates are down to their last out. Struck him out. He broke off a slider and the Brewers finish off the Pirates by a final of 3-1 to one here tonight. Wasn't easy for Josh Hader, but he gets the job done.